today we got Mika Galvon versus Espen the Viking. We got Espen in the blue gi, Mika in the white gi. And uh, let's see, double guard pull. I'm gonna rewind that real fast. I think Mika kind of slid in. And I think Espen wanted to, to pull as well. Now uh, Mika goes on top. Mika's got the ankle lock grip from single leg X. You know, Espen, really good bolo game. Very good crab ride bolo. He tries to attempt one, but Mika is able to get like an, into an over under position, pressure passing. And uh, it, this is a tough way to start your match, guys. <laughs> Very tough. We call that like a bulldog pass. Now we're back into like a neutral position. Espen's playing with with like a knee shield. Mika's playing a little bit more chill than what you would typically see him doing. Maybe looking for a knee cut. He's controlling the pant. Maybe looking for a long step with the if he if he can make that other grip. Bro, I'm talking fast. This is a fast match. Espen's got a lasso, a shallow lasso. Other foots looks like you know, in between the legs. Maybe reverse elahiva. Maybe gonna kick that leg through. He's got the reverse tail heave with the lasso. So this is a, a position I know Espen plays a lot. Mika maybe looking at a knee cut if you can get through that that lasso. And uh, you know, man, Mika's base is pretty amazing. Espen, of course, is gonna look for his bolo. Mika goes back on top. Espen kind of off balances. And I think Mika wants to do like a, you know, like a long step pass, but it's kind of tough. Now he's looking a little bit, he's playing a little bit with the lapel with that uh, De La Hiva. Your first game plan doesn't work. You gotta switch it up a little bit, guys. Don't just stick with the same game plan. And then Mika, he's trying to pass on uh, Espen's left side, I guess, because it wasn't working on the right side. Espen's still threatening with that that bolo. You don't really see Mika get still made it like this too much. Cause usually he just bull bulldozes through guys. So he's able to break the grip. Back into De La Hiva. And I feel like Mika wants to pressure through, but you know, sometimes that's not working too well. Espen does a great, good job at off balancing. Back to his reverse Elahiva, he's got a lasso. And so your mobility will come in handy, especially if you're flexible, you know, you can always rely on that mobility. We, we got an inversion with no grip. So I'm gonna rewind that because, you know, that's, that's kind of a situation where something's gonna happen. So you gotta be careful in those situations. So he went to invert, but he lo lost his grips, but Mika was keeping control of the pants. So um, there's always gonna be an opening. Doesn't matter, black belt, blue belt. There's always gonna be an opening. And then Mika's kind of trying to force that knee cut, but Espen does, he has a good guard, so it's not gonna work so well. He's looking to push that leg down, that reverse Elahiva leg down while shoving the knee shield leg away. Uh, but you know, it's really tough when the guy has a lot of mobility in their legs. Let's see, Espen's, you know, switching back to his De La Hiva. He's playing with the collar. So he's doing a good job of off balancing. So it looked like Espen had reverse De La Hiva for a second and tried to, no, he had the De La Hiva and tried to bump. And then from there, Mika's got the ankle grip. And it's kind of one of those weird positions where, you know, you might get the submission or you might lose the submission. So Mika's a strong kid, man, strong kid. He's trying to go belly down and he gets the submission. So it happens. I got tapped in a tournament recently. It happens, you know. The most important thing, guys, when you're competing is make sure you can walk off that mat. Okay, so always take care of yourself. Try to protect yourself. You know, that's what they say in the UFC. Protect yourself at all times. Same thing with jiu-jitsu. So great matchup between Mika and Espen. Both really talented. If you guys would like to see some more videos like this, some more breakdowns, let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, check out my next video right over here, right there.